Johnson Pettigrew, University of North Carolina. Yeah, I know. They still talk about your grades there with reverence and awe. General Pettigrew here um, is actually portrayed by uh, the British actor uh, George Lazenby. British actor. The British actor. British actor. All right, he's not actually British. He's Australian. But you can't blame me, assuming that the guy who played James Bond was British. Sorry. Who acted as James Bond in, uh, on Her Majesty's Secret Service. And so James Bond is, is in the movie Gettysburg. And uh, a lot of people don't recognize him with uh, the facial growth. And of course, he's one of the lesser known Bonds because he was only in uh, one movie. Uh, but I think he has a fairly convincing <laughs> southern accent um, nonetheless. Fun little bit of trivia. General, please get down. We cannot spare you. There are times when a corps commander's life does not count. And here's one of uh, the other notable cameos that we see in the movie Gettysburg. Uh, the young adjutant who runs up to uh, General Hancock is none other than the documentarian Ken Burns. And Ken Burns, who, whose uh, you know, masterful Civil War series uh, it came out you know, just uh, three years prior to this film and was hugely popular, this movie would not have happened without Ken Burns. Ken Burns once again demonstrated that there was an audience for these types of stories. And uh, shortly thereafter, um, he apparently had a conversation with executive produ producer Ted Turner, the producer of this film. And uh, the story goes that Turner was somewhat on the fence about adapting the Killer Angels for the small screen. And uh, Burns, who himself was inspired to make his documentary as a result of the Killer Angels, uh, insisted that Turner should jump onto that project. And so I like to call those three films the Civil War trifecta because they all feed off of each other. Um, well, one of those films is the 1989 film Glory. And then the following year, Ken Burns' documentary comes out. And then three years later, this film comes out. It's, it's like a chain reaction. There's a certain zeitgeist here in the early 1990s in regard to Civil War history. And we have three really impactful films as a result. Um, and so it's highly appropriate that Ken Burns has uh, you know, kind of a little tip of the hat um, in this film. Uh, Ken Burns was, was purportedly quite overwhelmed when he visited the set. Um, you know, he essentially told one of the film's producers uh, that, you know, how do you manage all this? I, I could never manage this many people, you know, in one of my films. And so, uh, an interesting juxtaposition here between a documentary and a feature film that comes out in discussions like that. And uh, in this moment, we, we have another uh, really good cameo by the executive producer, and uh, that is a media mogul uh, Ted Turner, um, who uh, financed uh, the $25 million uh, in order to make Gettysburg. And uh, Turner plays a Confederate colonel by the name of Waller Patton. And uh, Waller Patton was the uncle of World War II General George S. Patton. And uh, Waller's brother, also named George, uh, would be killed a year later at the Battle of Winchester um, in Virginia. Um, and so uh, it's, it's a very multi-layered approach here in regard to the number of famous names uh, associated with this family. Uh, at the time of this production, Ted Turner was uh, married to Jane Fonda, and uh, when Jane Fonda came to visit the set, that was something that many of the reenactors, some of whom were Vietnam War veterans, uh, were not very appreciative of. So another interesting little production note there. Definitely. 
There are also a number of historian cameos. We can see one of the men here hoisting General Kemper. Uh, was then director of the Civil War Institute at Gettysburg College. Um, an immigrant historian who was fascinated by Lincoln, a gentleman by the name of Gabor Borat. Um, and so uh, he's one of many Civil War historians uh, who makes a brief appearance in this film. He, he ends up dying though, much like Ted Turner does. Sir. Here we have yet another cameo of a wonderful Civil War historian by the name of Brian Pohanka. And if any of you were familiar with the wonderful old A&E series, Civil War Journal, um, that I grew up with, he was one of the prominent talking heads in that, and he often served as a technical advisor in a lot of Civil War era films. And in this film, he plays General Alexander Webb, one of the uh, generals responsible for repulsing the charge. <laughs> 